All right, I'm gonna show you a variant here. So we're working for a double wrist lock and we're having a bit of trouble. Another thing that you can come across is they might be locked in onto their gi. Did I say gi on a catch wrestling video? I sure did because this goes across all competition levels, all styles. If it's wrestling, it's wrestling, it's wrestling and wrestling. So what I'm looking to do here, I'm, I'm having a real hard time just using grip alone. So I'm just gonna drive my elbow into it and drive it to the floor. Still working to pin the wrist. Now mind you, you could do this at any point. If, if we're working here and I'm attacking his arm, if I just lay my hand on his, his, his uh, if I lay my, my, my elbow, my forearm bone on his wrist, the thing here is I can't just be like this because he'll just move his hand out of the way. So I want to put my fist on the floor and drive my elbow down onto his hand, pinning it so he can't move it again. Now what I'm going to do is just slide my arm off so that I go parallel. My elbow to his hand, my hand to his elbow. I'm going to pick this thing up and then I'm going to rotate my hand out and drive so that I can now try to connect my hand to my arm and my other hand to my tricep. Now, one of the things that's key about this is I don't want my lock to try and meet too high on his arm. One, I'm not getting as much of a lever to take advantage of. Two, he's got a big ass arm. My arms are medium big. So they're not gonna really fit in there all that well. So I wanna be down here at the wrist where I can exert that leverage and try to make them meet together. And if you find that you're only, you're not getting as much of a satisfactory grip as you'd like to begin with, don't fret, turn, grab, turn, grab. Walk yourself down and tighter. And then once you get in there, you're gonna turn that forearm bone into his four, bone to bone, as per usual. Now, if I pick him up, he might just drive into me and knock me over. That's no point. So again, circle the head, drive together. Oh, you might get a short arm scissor. Or I'm gonna pick up just at the shoulder. Good. And there's gonna be my tap out. Mostly this is just a different grip variant, or I should say a different framing variant that also, uh, which is known as a short arm scissor. But there's a shoulder lock in there as well. And there's some people that they won't tap on the short arm scissor. And you know, maybe you could break the forearm uh, with enough pressure potentially, but bones tend to bend more than they tend to break. And at times, even as tight as you can get, you, might, you can feel that bend in the radius of the ulna there. And well, you know, bending is, Definitely not a good place to be. It's not breaking. So we're here. Drop my elbow down onto his hand. Put my fist on the floor. Get parallel. Now drive. Pick him up. Walk, walk, walk. Good. Circle. Keep his head pinned and stuck to the mat. Pick his shoulder up. Short arm scissor, double wrist lock. 